Welcome back to House of Cremel and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> another vlog. House of Mel. So tell them like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, House of Mel. Y'all better listen to my baby. That right, and subscribe. <laughs> But um, I just got home from work not too long ago. Me and the boot home from work and school. Y'all, I had on this ugly Christmas sweater. And by the time, it is so hot outside. Well, it's hot to have on a sweater, I'll say. So, it's probably about, what you think it is? Uh, yeah, I was about to say 65 degrees, but it's at 63 degrees outside right now. And to have on a big old sweater was getting very uncomfortable. So, I had to get out of that. I changed my shirt and I put my hair up in the back so I could cool off a little bit. But I'm home. Um, as I showed you a little bit of footage earlier. Has them, yeah. <laughs> my, um, our team, my team at work, we did a little, a small um, holiday get together. And um, it was cute. We did a white elephant party. I'm going to show y'all what I got. So, as far as the white elephant party, I got this one gag gift. It This little gift came in this huge box, and it was wrapped in several things, but it's a toilet night light. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. It's motion activated, so I guess it's really meant for, you know, you got to get up and use the potty, and you don't want to turn on the bright lights to you'll find your way using this little device so i mean even though it's a gag gift i'm interested to see what it's going to turn out to be and since i got a gag gift i was able to get a second gift and <laughs> it's called Fasta pasta yeah i i, I yeah <laughs> it's microwave it's a microwave ramen cooker never heard of it so the theme of our white elephant party was as seen on tv so we saw a couple um nostalgic and ridiculous things come out of it somebody got a chia pet um what did i, I got somebody it was like a mosquito catcher thing it, it had an as seen, you know, as seen on tv label somebody got that chopper that when you chop a bunch of vegetables in that container um yeah, it was a lot of cool stuff, so it was a fun time. It was great to do something other than work. I won the ugly Christmas sweater party, so I showed you a little bit of what my sweater looked like. So it won the prize. I got that from Target, and um, I don't know. It was just a fun day. So now I'm back home, and I don't know what I'm about to do. I think we need to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner, y'all. We have been dragging. Dinner has just been like... It's been a bad week. I learned, we just did a Sunday setup. The week before it was great. And I feel like we kind of crashed and burned this week. But we got so much, so many beverages in the refrigerator. You would think all we did was drink liquids in here. <clears throat> so that and fruit. But um, we haven't really been cooking that much. So tonight, probably more of the same. Because it's already 5.30. And the child is already eating. He's got a sandwich and some veggie sticks and some fruit he's got a banana so i don't know me and chuck might eat the same thing who knows um yeah so i'll check back in with you in a minute um yeah this probably won't be a long vlog because this is after work and honestly y'all I'm, I'm gonna be honest vlogmas is kicking my butt but I'm determined to see this through. So I think I have less than less than 10 more days till Christmas. Who would I just put a lot of pressure on some other things? But that's okay. Um, because I still have a couple of things that I need to do for my Christmas list. We still need to get Charles teachers their gifts, which is fine. He goes to school up until Christmas. Well, Christmas Eve they close early, I think. But we have some time to give them their gifts. And we've already set it on gift cards. So that's not really that bad. But there's still some last minute things I need to do. So yeah. We'll just keep unwinding for a little bit while Bookie's eating. And I guess try to figure out what we're going to eat too. So see you in a second. 
Oh, it's such a terrible angle. Hey y'all, so I'm coming back to show y'all this. I ordered this off, did I order this off Amazon? I either ordered it off Amazon or I bought it at Target. I think maybe I bought it at Target. But I wanted to try this out because I've been having on, on again, off again, sinus issues. And I think it's just largely due to the weather in Georgia. Well, I'll say Atlanta because I don't really know what it's doing in the grand state of Georgia. <laughs> but... <clears throat> I want to try it out and I also want my son to try it out because him, both him and I have been going back and forth with this whole congestion thing. And um, like I, you can kind of hear it now. I have some congestion. I don't feel bad, but I just, it just keeps reoccurring. And I think it has a lot to do with the weather changing so drastically from one day to the next. So to help with this, Blue, that is blue. My son taking out all the home chef recipe cards and putting them on the floor. What am I gonna do? Nothing right now, I'll tell you that much. But um, I wanna try it out. I was reading the directions and uh, sorry. So I wanted to see what this was about. So this is what it looks like. So this is the thing I think you're supposed to put your face in. And this is what the bottom looked like. One thing I don't like about this, but I haven't really seen a steamer yet that functions this way, but you have to plug it in. I mean, I have a clothing steamer. I actually do have a facial steamer and this is probably very close to that. But, um, <coughs> they all have to be plugged in to use so this is no exception so and i was reading the directions for some reason they say don't plug it into a extension cord or a power strip i don't know why so before i plug it in i'm supposed to put water in here it says Two and a half no. tablespoons of no. cool water. So I'm gonna get the water. All right, I got my water. Y'all say hi to Charles. Come say hi. Hi, what you doing? You on the blog? I'm showing them this sinus inhaler that I got that I haven't used yet. <laughs> we have on black shirts together. Yeah, man, got something on. Mine too. This is just a yeah. You We're twins. Mm -hmm. Mwah. You missing it? Yeah, well, they just, I'm just congested. I feel okay. I just congested. Now, they do have a max level in here, but I guess for this first run, I'm trying to follow directions. But next time, I just fill it up to the max level. Matter of fact, I'm probably just going to spoon water in there to the max level. Y'all can't even see me. You see it? It say max way up here. So it's a pretty, the reservoir looks like it holds more than um, two and a half cups of, two and a half tablespoons, I'm sorry, of water. It's about three, so I'm gonna stop there. This was a, I was using a half tablespoon. That's why it looked like so many. All right, so. Let's put this back on. How do you put this back on? There we go. Okay, so you can tell it's back on. It's kind of aligned with this, but it won't turn no more. So I think that's good. And now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the housing back on here how does this go on i think it's supposed to click yep if i wanted to take it off how do i take it off what 
Well, I don't know. We'll worry about taking it off later. So now, oh, last thing I want to do. This is actually for, it's another reason why I want to try this one out. So they have what they call vapor pads that you can use to put in here. And this is the little housing part. Now you're not supposed to use no other type of pad in here for that. Look like you could put more than one. But we're just gonna use one. So I put that back. This one came with this as a sample, but I did buy another pack of them. Where is it? So this is what they look like in a pack you can purchase. Matter of fact, I'm I'm pretty sure I ordered this one off Amazon, but they do sell it on Target because I've seen it in there a few times and I just look at it and I walk away from it. But the last time my sinuses, which was a couple weeks ago, got really bad, um, I bought it, but I still never used it. I didn't even take it out of the box. So, all right. So it says it takes six minutes to heat up and steam. I want Bookie to come join me and do it with me. But he got well. We gotta wait six minutes. So I just plug it in, and I'm going to let me show you the. Just plugged it in, and I'm going to turn it on. And now we're gonna watch for a steam, and I'm going to. Where's my phone? Probably on the couch. I feel like six minutes might be a bit long to wait for this thing to like start working. But I mean, especially if you're looking for some type of instant relief and you just like, I need my inhaler, my steamer. But uh, I mean, maybe it's worth the six minutes. But while I'm still waiting for it to heat up. Yeah, I got it on. Um, I will say another product that I do enjoy by VIX is they have these shower tabs. And all you do is you put them in the shower and you put them in direct flow of the water stream. And while the water is steaming up, because I love a hot shower anyway, it creates um, soothing vapors or yeah, menthol vapors for you to breathe in. And it helps you to breathe better. If you have a congestion or sinus issues, it just gives you a very comforting um experience in the shower so if you haven't tried those before i recommend those as well um they are very helpful when you just need to feel better I, they don't do much outside of the shower like you but you do have a moments or <coughs> excuse me a few moments of uh relief um, that you didn't have when you weren't in the shower. So it just kind of makes that experience even better. All right, still waiting on this thing. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but the steam is starting to come. You can see it fogging up the um, thing. So it's starting to activate. I'm going to give it a little more time so I can actually uh, try it out. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. So you see right here, you can adjust the steam uh, amount. I have it on high because I like a lot of steam. I hope this isn't the highest setting because if it is, we might have an issue. But Because I'm going to need to do this. <laughs> but um, I'm going to see if, you know, it gets stronger. Okay, so guys, I'm still 
at it and I'm just looking at reels as I'm looking at as I'm taking this treatment. But I mean, I like it. I wish the steam was a bit more aggressive. I think I only paid $50 for this one. There are steam inhalers that are, um, that cost much more than this one. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to invest that much more in this. I think it's good for if you need something outside of the shower. But, um, it is, it does help. Um, uh, and yeah, that's my review. So I won't say it's not like mind blowing or, oh my gosh, I need, absolutely needed this because Honestly, I think I get a stronger sense of it when I'm in the shower because my showers are so warm. Oh, look. You see the steam is working. But, um, for me, I like an aggressive stream of steam for something like this. And honestly, my facial uh, steamer might be a little bit better than this one. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to send it back. I, I might keep it, but... Uh, if you're just looking for a lower cost version of some of these things, I'm pretty sure this gets the job done. Like, there is steam and um, everybody might not be like me. Like, it pretty much want a water hose in your face. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is definitely helping. It was easy to put together. It's very easy to use. Like I said, one of the only things I don't like about it is that I have to plug it in. But I haven't met a steamer of any function yet that I didn't have to plug in. So, that's it. I'm going to finish this. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Oh, hello. It, it, bus. Yeah, it's a bus. Look over there playing with his toys. We're about to get ready to... Get him ready for bed. And I think I'm gonna, right. I think I'm gonna close out this mini vlog here. Bus. Um, hope you guys had a great day. Um, uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos from Vlogmas. It is a labor of love, you guys. I can <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's been super fun doing it, but I'm cannot lie. I'm glad that we're nearing the end because this is an extremely aggressive feat. One of my own choice to do, so please don't take it as I'm complaining. But, um, this is my first year doing it and I've learned a lot and, um, yeah. And I'll be taking a lot of these lessons that I've learned into next year and into the next phase of house of cremel so yeah me and bookie both we just <laughs> the congestion is real but fortunately we both feel good say hi boo bear uh, hi. all right he said hi y'all part of his nighttime thing is when we come upstairs i let we let him play a little bit with like his Whatever he has up here while we get things ready for him to go to bed. So I'm just let Bookie play and get some more wiggles out. And I'm going to go ahead and start picking out his stuff for tomorrow. And then get him in the tub and get him ready for bed. Or get him in the bed right or so. Rather. So you guys have a great day. And <laughs> you can bet your bottom dollar that you will see me tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>